Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, I'm kind of deviating a little bit from my normal routine here. I'm not making another mod spotlight on the volts pack, but instead I'm teaching you guys how to do something I should have done a long time ago. I'm showing you guys how to make the um, reactors, alright? Because a lot of you asked me about that, and so I was like, you know what? Alright, I'll do that this week. So, I... I am doing a tutorial on them, I'll show you how to build them, I'll show you the pros and cons of each of the reactors. And if you really want to know more in depth about the reactors, go check out my mod spotlight on atomic science, because that's what these are from. You can see right in front of me my awesome pixel art of the uranium reactant nuclear sign. If you look back at it, it almost looks kind of like a moose, or possibly a rabid cow. I don't know. I like it. There's just kind of a stray block there. I'll get rid of that. But anyway, guys, I'll be showing you guys the fusion, which is that one, and the fission reactor. Oh, I do believe that's right. Hold on, let me check. Fission and fusion. Yeah, fusion and the fission reactor. I'll put some annotations up so you guys can just click on the one you guys want. So, like, right now, there'll be, like, some annotations that come up, and it'll jump you to that spot in the video, all right? That sounds cool. I like it. So if you just want to see one of the videos, you can. But right now I'm going to be jumping into the pros and cons of the reactors. I'm going to st Is there squid in here? <laughs> it's not very safe, squid. You're kind of in a reactor right now. It's going to turn into like a mutant. It's going to... Oh. It's going to turn into the um the Kraken, I bet you. The, the Kraken, the giant squid. We're going to like gamma ray it like the Hulk. And it's just kind of like go on steroids and just kind of like pop out of here and just completely destroy everything. Oh, I hope so. That that would be awesome. That would, I mean, it would be terrible for the sake of this video. But I'd still post it anyway, just so you guys can see the Kraken coming alive. There's a squid in our reactor tank. That is not a very safe thing to do. I would not advise swimming in reacting, reactant, re reactant, no, reactant to water. Re radioactive. That that's the word. There we go. So squid, I would I would I would advise you to get out. We're gonna have to um call the coast guard to get you out of there. Or is it, I don't think it's the coast guard. Anyway, I set up these blocks. <laughs> Moving on. I set up these blocks so that I could place some battery boxes down so you guys can see the amount of power each of these generate in the amount of time. I'll just place one down actually. So that way you can see how much it is in just one of the bat boxes. Now the fusion, no, fission reactor, oh God, I'm going to get those mixed up so much, fission, here, I'll put them right here, that way I can just go between them, fission reactor runs off uranium, so it's highly reactive, if you do not have a hazmat suit on, you will get radioactive poisoning and probably die terribly like this squid is probably about to do, and here I am standing in the water as well, we should have a whole party in the water, you know, we just have a fiesta, that's Spanish, in the water. Oh, I guess he decided to swim. Okay, never mind. Thought he got smart there for a few seconds. Anyway, my design for this reactor involves a little bit of a basement area. It doesn't really have to, but I think it's awesome. And I'll get the uranium out of here just for demonstration purposes. Or did I already take it out? No, there shouldn't be uranium in here. Anyway, I'll just put some more in because twice the uranium is always better than one of the uraniums, right? Yeah, so it looks like there's not any uranium in there. So, we'll just get into our NEI here, and uranium rod. That's what we need, guys. If you haven't wanted to craft any of this stuff, like all these machines and stuff, check out my Atomic Science video again. So, let's get started already. Um, so, you just plop that in there. You could, But you might notice it's not doing anything. And you might also notice... There's a curious white rod right here. That is called a control rod, and that is what I'm using to control this reactor. As noted in the title of the video, these are all self-sustainable, which means you don't have to do anything to them to turn them off, just like a flick of the lever, and they don't require anything to really be ran, except for the uranium and the du du deuterium, I think, yeah, deuterium in the fusion reactor. Alrighty. So, shutoff switch is right here. The uranium input is up here. I mean, I put it in the water anyway, because I just feel like swimming with the squid. But if we... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh god. That was perfect timing. Oh wow. Oh gosh, that made my day right there. I hope it made yours. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to turn this guy on. He wasn't actually on. Maybe because just because there's a uranium rod in there, it kind of radioactive poisoned him. You can see it's slowly starting to turn there. Very, very slowly. And then you can see the turbines coming on. And they're all on. And we're creating, we're creating some power, actually. That's quite a bit of power. This thing holds four. And we're up to... I don't know how many megajoules is in a megajoule. But it'll go to one. I think it might be a thousand. Or may not be. I don't know. But we'll see how many megajoules that makes in a, a short amount of time. But another one of these things, thing about this, is if this water isn't there, it will explode. Like a hundred percent chance. And it probably will explode anyway. Unless you keep on turning it off and turning it back on. But the cool thing about this is if you don't want it to run, and you want to manually shut it off, you just click on it. Well, now I've got the uranium rod in my inventory. Slightly depleted. And so in that amount of time, we created about 1.7 megajoules. You can see it's still going up. Because the way this works is it heats water up, and the steam from the water is powering these steam turbines, which is making power. And so as the water was still hot, it was still making power. And now we stopped at about 1.81 megajoules in that short amount of time. So that's pretty cool. But, I mean, Pro, it's a really, really small, and it's fairly inexpensive. You only need some uranium for it. And you only need one rod that will last you quite a while. It's actually very inexpensive compared to the other one because of just the amount of resources involved. And um, you don't really need to have the control rod. I just find there. So I can just go boop with the uranium still inside. And it'll shut it off. So that's pretty much it for the fusion reactor. I'll, again, I'll share to create that. There will be an annotation for that. So, moving on to the fusion reactor. This is the big boy of the reactor. This is the, I mean, doesn't this guy... You By looking at this, you just say, Oh my god, I want one of those. Like, it's just so massively huge, and it looks so complex and awesome. You just want one. It's like... It's like whenever you were, like, three, you wanted, like, a G.I. Joe or a Barbie, because they were just so absolutely awesome. That That would be this thing. Like... If you saw one of these in the commercial, like buy your own fusion reactor today, how many of us would get one? Just leave it in the comments. Alright, so I have developed a system for turning this thing on and off. Most people, I don't think, have a really good way of doing that. I also have a way of self-sustaining this thing, which took a little bit of innovative thinking, haha, <laughs> but I did it, and it's cool, and it's awesome, and it works, and again with the one bat box, I think. So it's not on yet, as it's kind of obvious nothing's happening. But the way this thing works is it needs a kickstart. And the kickstart, the way I've done this, is... Do, 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 go down here in the works. I have got a battery box here. Because the, the stupid way... No, no offense if you guys really like this. Universal Electricity does its wiring. Is that... It'll go to back back boxes pretty much get first priority over machines, which is, in my opinion, really stupid. I think it should be the first come, first serve type of deal, like in Red Power, but that's just kind of my opinion. So, what I had to do here, because it wasn't going to the machine, it was just going to the bat boxes, and I wasn't getting any power, and therefore I couldn't sustain the reaction. So, I put a bat box here. You can see it's charged up with a few, like few kegajoules of juice, just enough to get this thing started, which it does need. This one does need some initial startup power, and but the way the system works, you should always have it whenever we shut it off. All right, so you only have to get the really initial one, and then you should be fine. Another thing, this thing takes a lot of deuteri deuterium. Haha, <laughs> that's a really hard word to say. Deuterium, which is right here. You can just feed stacks and stacks of this thing here. Here, I'll show you. Boom, boom, boom. Get lots of stacks of it. Just boom. What? Boom. I mean, you can just... I don't know how many stacks you can hold in here. But it's its a ton. Alright, that was like five stacks in here. So, as I, you mean, you can hold just tons. 
in the way this reactor is supposed to work, scientifically speaking, the reactor does its work, it heats up these things to such a degree that it creates plasma. And the pla well, I don't know if it actually heats up, maybe it like sends electric waves or something through the through these things. And it well anyway, it creates plasma in this little chamber right here. You can see this is a hollow chamber, and plasma will be created inside of it. And if you do not have this electromagnetic glass and such, it will just compl <laughs> the plasma will go everywhere, just eat through your world, just create a hole. Because if you guys don't know this, and I didn't before, but someone in the comments just told me, that right there is made of plasma. You may think it's made out of pixels, but I tell you it's made out of plasma. In the world, real world anyway. This one is actually is made out of pixels. So that's, I mean, maybe the pixels are somehow made out of plasma. I don't know. I don't know anything about pixely stuff. Anyway, so, pros, this thing generates a ton of power. This thing will probably fill up completely in about, like, half a minute, maybe. I don't know. I, I, haven't, I haven't timed it yet. That's what this video is for. But it also takes, as you can see, probably a lot of resources, a lot of deuterium, de deuterium, oh God. but deuterium, and I just used the last of it, but do, 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 deuterium is crafted in the deuterium thingy, and Bob, oh God, deuterium extractor, and you just put a bucket of water in there. It takes a while, but one bucket of water equals one deuterium, and I'm pretty sure you get the bucket back, so deuterium equals water. It's like some like ionized water or something like that. I really don't know all the much sciencey stuff. So just leave in the comments if you do know and just help the other views out. But let's get I'm gonna show you how this thing works. It actually looks really cool with its awesomeness. So power. See it's creating plasma from our excess power in here, which is the startup power. And then from that, these things start to turn, which in turn creates more power, which powers up our startup even more, which creates more power, which is, I mean, it's exponential growth right there. And some of this power is also going to go to this bat box. Actually, a, a vast majority of it is. And you can see now all these turbines are really started spinning it. I'm not even sure. Do, do these two spin? That might be a design flaw there. I don't think they do, so yeah. <laughs> this block is useless, I guess. Oops. <laughs> As I said, I'm not, I mean, I'm fluent with this mod, but I'm not like, I just do absolutely everything. I mean, I make mistakes. So, well, just see this this thing. Already, as I've been talking, this thing's made about as much power as that thing did that whole entire time. So, I mean, this thing just kicks out tons, absolute tons of power. So, that is just awesome. Though it does take, I have a stack of deuterium in there. It just eats through deuterium like butter. <laughs> because people just eat through butter like that, you know. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, um, this thing has an automatic shut off. It shuts off almost completely. But the cool thing about this is, is if we go check this thingy right here, it should be kind of fluctuating. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. It's steadily rising. Oops. Sometimes, though, it does fluctuate. Like, when it's start always starting off, it'll go, like, 0 to, like, 600 megajoules or kegajoules or whatever. So, um, that's not cool. So, but what this thing does is, since these things are still going to be still spinning because there's still steam coming off of them because the water's still hot, it'll constantly replenish the power in our Kickstarter. So, that's pretty cool. It's like, actually, I know nothing about cars. I was gonna say it's like the car thing, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, there probably is a car thing called a Kickstarter, or it's like a shock starter or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, shut that off and immediate shut off in the plasma, which means you're not wasting any deut deutri deuterium uh, at all. So that is just awesome. Like I had a few other versions where it would stop the water, which would stop these things from moving too which would in turn stop power, but there'd still be a little power going into here and being wasting your deuterium. So, but I, in this version I have fixed that, and so I'll teach you guys how to build that version because as far as I can tell, that this is the best way to do it that I have seen. And again, self-regulating, this thing will continue forever as long as there's deuterium in it. Yeah, I said it right, that's pretty cool. And so that, that that's really, really cool, I think that's really neat. And <laughs> already this thing is full 
just absolutely full. And these things are still spinning too, which means these things these things hold heat for quite a while. You can see some of this water evaporating still. Yeah, you saw one right there. So I'll get into teaching you guys how to build it. Just fly over here. We'll do the fee uh, fission one first. Alrighty, because that's that's a fairly easy one to do. I'm making off this sandy brick. No, actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna mix it up, guys. I'm gonna mix it up. This thing, I'm gonna make a sponge. Now, honestly, I don't I don't recommend making them out of sponge for obvious reasons. That sponge is full of holes. But I honestly don't think it matters. I think you can really make it out of whatever you want. But you can see me here for the fission re fission reactor. It's a three by three with two high sides on it, and these these sides are gonna be your walls. All right, you can see the walls over there. They're too high, so because that is necessary. That's absolutely necessary because. If they're not too high, and you have your source block right here, then the heat of the fusion reactor will just burn up the source block, and then you won't have any water anymore, and then you'll, you'll, you'll go kaboom. Now, the fusion reactor doesn't have the same problem. If you don't have water, it won't go boom. But the fission one does. So we'll just place our fission one right here. Well, actually, yeah. And we'll break the block underneath it for access later. And we will go and make our little staircase cool thing. Do go under here. I don't know where it, did I go too far down? I must have. Yeah, I did. But oh well. Oh bonkers. Anyway. Yes, I said bonkers. Got a problem with it? Huh? Anyway. So just kind of putting a little bit of aesthetic touch on there because I like aesthetics. I I really really do. Aesthetics is, is I, I like aesthetics very very much as you can see by me making out a sponge because sponge is just the absolutely most aesthetic material ever. did I place that right? ever I don't think I did I, I don't want to say that I did no I did not it goes right here and since I did dug one two down I'm gonna have to get inventive anyway you guys can follow along what I'm doing it's pretty much I mean you don't really have to have the underground part I would prefer it so you don't have to swim in water but pretty much it's a 3x3 three three with two high walls we'll get to placing the water and stuff later so I'm just putting in our safety mechanism with the control rod and uh, that was a fail wow <laughs> you guys see that there we are and this won't affect it at all until it's right next to it so you don't have to worry about that and then we'll get our we'll throw away our wool that I was making to build that awesome sign <laughs> oh god <laughs> wow um to do and we'll get a lever right here where here and so if we want whenever we want to we can just turn it off and on and then we have our fusion reactor which we won't put stuff in yet because we need water to cool it off so got our buckets of water just place them on all these outside blocks all right so you just have a, a nice little pool of water and then what you're gonna need are some reactor turbines, all right? And then so you just take your reactor turbines like this. It won't work in the middle, so don't even try. You'll be wasting a reactor turbine. And there you go. That's that's the basic setup of the machinery, kind of. And then you need your wires. I prefer to use superconductor wires, which are really expensive, but they don't lose any power whatsoever. So you're getting maximum voltage out of these things, or megajoules, or whatever it's called. And that's pretty cool, all right. I mean, you can really you can use a copper wire, or I mean, you can use any wire you want. But again, I prefer no power loss whatsoever. Do do do, do. battery box. I already had an inventory. Just being a noob about it. There we are. Red is in. Just so you guys know. And alrighty, so that's that's your basic steam steam generator, um, fission reactor setup. Now, if we were to place dun 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 this uranium rod in here, we'll go down under stairs. We'll go downstairs just for emphasis. Boop. Alrighty. And again with the slowly turning 
it's just very 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 slowly turning and there we go our water starting to heat up seems starting to be created and we are making energy cool 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 all right guys that's been the fusion fission reactor God damn. Fusion, fission reactor so moving on to the fusion reactor I'm actually gonna I'm gonna control rod this puppy up and watch that watch that blow up it won't but just, just watch my day be ruined because it blows up alrighty we're gonna go over here fission reactor fu oh God. fusion reactor and we're gonna build it one off the floor you can build it two off the floor if you want to just for ease of access but I don't know I just prefer building it one off the floor so we're gonna want our fusion reactor just sit that right there and then we're going to want kind of like a little platform it doesn't it's not really necessary but you will you kinda need it I mean yeah you kinda need it I actually should have built this two off the floor oops and keep in mind I am using um, electromagnetic glass that is absolutely ne oh wait no wow I feel stupid right now Let's put the glass right here wow erg sandstone because I don't like holes alrighty do, 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 do. alrighty there we go so what you're gonna do now is take some electromagnets and just ring this guy with them alright just completely ring them and you're also going to want a hole in the middle right here just for access to power it up because it does need an initial charge as I said earlier now I figured out actually no this this does need to be a ring I'm pretty sure maybe not but I'm almost positive this needs to be a ring alright you do not need one here I'm just putting one no I'm not going to put one there so do 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 I miss clicking because I'm a boss. Not really. More MLG, you know. Nah. Nah, nah. Alright, so this is kind of your basic tunnel for your plasma to go in. This has to be electromagnet glass. Don't get don't get confused and put regular glass. That will eat through your world and you know. Well then your sponge won't be too much help. To put it that way. Alrighty, so that's your that's your basic plasma container. You just need a roof on it. I'm not sure this has, this has to be electromagnetic glass, but I know it works with electromagnetic glass. So I would I would um, strongly recommend that you put electromagnetic glass unless you know for a fact and that it doesn't take that. Now, if you if you do know and you want to just tell it to the viewers so that they can know too. That is absolutely wonderful, absolutely okay with me. Alrighty. So, you're going to actually want to build this three out like that, so it's really only two out from the electromagnet magnets. One, two, three. Like that, that should be fine. Actually, you know what? Do, 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 do. We don't need that. And just do it from, from the electromagnet itself because that's this, this is where your water is going. We don't need water here, so you can just like order that up or something. You don't have to, but it will prevent water from just going astray. So I'm going to anyway. Alrighty. So once you're done with that, you're gonna want walls on the sides and the backs. So let's just do that real quick do, 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 do. you know I watched other playthroughs other tutorials of this and they were building it out of stone now which one would you rather watch honestly like you can leave in the comments but I'm just gonna say right now I'd rather watch sponge like I actually am not positive that this will hold 
but I don't, I, I, I kind, I, I pretty much am positive, watch, yeah, yeah, this, this should, this should still work fine, uh, yeah, that should work, alright, so now you're gonna kinda wanna go out here, you know, this turbine's not nothing, so you're just gonna delete that, and you're just gonna place your turbines down, you're gonna need, uh, what, how many is it, five for each row, so that's a total of 20 turbines, so, and, I'm not sure these things are expensive or not. Nah, they're not that expensive. They're just some bronze and a few other various metals, which are typical. If you're in this late in the game to be building a fusion reactor, they're pretty common. Ooh, take keys there. Alrighty. Now that we've got our turbines down, place your water blocks in these corners like this. All right. Not right there. That is a new no new. -no. All right, there we are. Clean up yourself. All right, just spam, click them down, and then you can have kind of like a cross formation like this. All right, and if you really want to be fancy, you can delete that and all that stuff. You don't have to, but I mean you can. All right, that just kind of makes it look cool. So now we're just gonna connect all this stuff up with some cable doesn't really matter how you do it does again doesn't really matter what type of cable you use do good actually there we are yeah that's 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 better that 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 that's better that's better it looks better it's all about the looks for the ladies now <laughs> Oh, goodness. It's what's inside that matters, guys. Come on. Alright, so... Alright, so now we're just gonna build. We're gonna kinda go out here and go down and kinda work our way down around here. And we're going to set up the system. I'm actually gonna delete these blocks of sponge right here. Sorry about that, guys. I just had a delightful experience ripping the eyes out of potatoes. You didn't know potatoes had eyes, you say. But they do. They do. That's how baby potatoes are born. They, they, they're the eyes that just grow up and become big potatoes. Yes, that, true story. Have you guys ever eyed potatoes before? It's a pretty cool experience. You can get your hand a little dirty, though. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool still. Leave in the comments uh, any experiences you might have had. Anyway, getting on, we just removed one of those for ease of access. I'm just gonna bring this down here. Oh boy. Just to right here. And now we're gonna place a bat box. Ooh, not sandstone. Bat box. Now we want it to have the red side, because red equals acceptance, black equals output. And now we're gonna take a very nifty superconductor switch, or any type of switch. What this basically is, is it's a redstone switch. Whenever I power this with redstone, it's going to activate this. And now if I really wanted to, I could add sponge, but I don't feel like it. So, But pretty much, that's, that's what it does. You activate this, turns this on. So, you will put a battery in here, charge it up a bit. There we are. That should be enough to run it. We'll just get everything else ready. And I didn't connect the wires over here. And we'll just bring these wires over here. A uh, little bit of a duck there. Not a chicken, but a duck, guys. Come on. Alrighty. And now we will set up our thingy. I'm not even sure if you can run redstone. Let's, let's figure it out. I hope you can. Yeah, you can. Cool. And we'll just run this all the way back here to our switch. And then we will create a little lever platform. Put a lever on the lever platform. And this thing should have enough power to run. Now what we're going to see is how much juice this thing can create. Hopefully that, enough, that much was enough to get kick-started. 
can see it's spinning up here. Oh wow, you know it. <laughs> I feel stupid. Nope. Gonna put Deirdre in. Ah. <laughs> Gotta put your deuterium in there. There you go, there's some plasma that should be heating up this outer hole here. Now, that was only enough for one little blast of plasma, so obviously we need more power. A lot of it was probably wasted on that first go where I didn't come to anything. So, you can see it down here too, it's pretty cool. Alrighty, that should be enough to kickstart it easily. Easily, easily, easily. And there we go. Once these things get going, you have enough. I mean, you just do. If we check on this thing, you can see it's hovering now. It's going maybe slowly down? Maybe slowly up? I don't know. I'm not going to stand here and watch it this whole video because it's getting kind of long. So, that that's actually pretty much it, guys. You can see we're already we already got a mega joule power in that, those few seconds that it's been on. And this is going to keep on running as long as there's deuter de deuterium in there. So, guys, this has been the reactors tutorial where I showed you a lot of the cool stuff about reactors and how to build them which is just awesome I love reactors they're so cool they look awesome you actually get to build them around just a block which is awesome and I just love pretty much everything about atomic science it's a really cool mod so guys remember to like comment favorite subscribe whatever you guys do these days and just have a good day everybody this has been Question 7 with um, Friendship Minecraft have a great day everyone